Good day, everybody. Well, today's post is uh, get trained or get mistreated, and that's usually what happens to people. You're either going to get trained or mistreated, eh? What do you think? Yeah, you are. Um, why don't you want to be the light for your family and learn how to do this and learn how to take loving little baby steps to change your life and actually heal to where you're the healer? Yeah, well, the problem is, is that most people don't know where to get the tools. So that's the big problem is, is that there is... Uh, poor eating habits, alcohol, right, or drugs is because they're trying to become something else because they don't believe that they're worthy in the first place or they're trying to enhance themselves. So you're going to find things to enhance your brain somehow, even if it's not enhancing your brain, or you're going to find tools, okay, that will expand your mind. You're going to find training that will expand your mind. You know what? If you think that treatment is the way, listen, I'm not trying to get rid of anybody's business but how well does it work for you when you go from treatment to treatment when you go from practitioner to practitioner oh, come on chiropractors massage therapists physiotherapists acupuncture okay all the different specialists so-called special med medical doctors going from uh, pillar to post you know what until you learn how to create the perfect day how are you ever gonna have the perfect body perfect health uh, and then if you don't know how to control your mind you're gonna be lost in the abyss. I can't tell you how many people come and see me, you're my last hope. Either they're frustrated because they've spent time, money, and energy on the medical system that's failed them, the doctors wrote them off, I can't help you anymore. There's nothing more you can do but take these pain pills or we can cut it off. And I give them hope and the tools they need to make those little small changes daily in their life and uh, they leave relieved, whether it's the physical part where I work on the body, or I give them the emotional things they need to work on, or the nutrition and exercise. Yeah, and you know what? I don't care who you are. You get treat treated long enough, you will be mistreated, and understand something. The whole medical system, and I'm not against the medical system for their emergency care. Their emergency care is saving lives. End of story. But when you bring emergency care into your daily care, then you become the emergency. Understand that. Okay, come on. You tell me. One part away from the emergency care that is going to help you with your health. Oh, the drugs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you get sick because of lack of drugs. You get sick because of lack of chemo. You get sick because of lack of radiation. You get sick because of lack of a knife being cut into you. Understand something you are mistreating yourself because you've been mistreated for so long because the foundation of our whole health care is based on a hating system not a loving system and until you understand that self-care is the only health care and this is why we believe in training not treatment right, That's right. i'm gonna yeah. help you bring up your vibration get you away from those low vibrational foods with low vibrational moods and elevate yourself, eat life-giving food, and you're not gonna want those low vibrational things anymore in your life. You're gonna have mental clarity. You're gonna be able to think better. And the reality is, until you know how to think better, guess what? Enjoy yourself. This is the best day you're ever gonna have because it's all downhill from here. Unless you're gonna change parts of your personality and you're gonna change your habits, okay? And you're gonna change things differently within your day then you're never gonna change yourself. And you're definitely never gonna change your family. And how's that working, trying to change your family? This is why we created the New World Practitioner Program at the International Training Institute of Health. This is why we go in and retrain practitioners, because guess what? Oh, you're gonna tell me, you're gonna tell me that we're making headway out there when 85% minimum of the population has autoimmune disease, which is self-hate program. Oh yeah, that's what autoimmune disease is. You're attacking yourself. How's that working? 85% of the population hates themselves? Wow, that's really great. Yeah, love is the answer. No, it's not. Ingredient, okay? The answer is when you learn how to really change the mind. So when you change the mind, you change. That's right. And you know, about two and a half years ago when I first called you, the first question you asked me was, when's the last time you looked in the mirror and said, I love you?
and I laughed. That was so foreign to me and, you know, I, I, yeah, I love myself. No, you can't. You can't. You can't look in the mirror and say, I love you, good looking. Yeah. And the other thing too is, is that, you know what? The only reason why Dean's sitting here is one thing, okay? He was sick of doing construction, but he's making great money at it, but he was sick of it. All right? So the reality is he was sick of doing construction, but he was so not wanting to do that anymore, it overrode his fear to embrace becoming the practitioner that he could always be. I mean, he helps to run one of the most beautiful things and it's uh, Healing Strong and he has a chapter in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? And, he, and he's really great at it. He helps cancer patients, but could he do it for himself? Could he actually unleash that hidden practitioner within? Oh, absolutely. He does personal treatment and trainings. He does emotional consultations now. He does nutritional consultations, puts people on fastings. He's changing people's lives. And you've been doing this for a year and a half. And guess what? He didn't go to school for four years, five years, six years, and he didn't spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. So you can think that this is an advertisement we're trying to tell you, but we're not. We're trying to tell you that if you don't get a new world practitioner in every family, then the family is going to scream. getting well oh yes we are take we're turning the burner down and they're not as sick they're not as suffering as much but how many are we actually reversing you'll never do it with a treatment you can only do it with a training whether it's coming to our courses right Dean That's right. and Dean's done uh, helping us do master trainings in Australia okay uh, we're going back to Australia we're gonna be in California in a few months Okay, we're back up in Kelowna in um, November here. So we're all over the world, okay? We're all over the world and understand something. You are your world. And until you take it back, you're not gonna have it. You know what, you actually think corporations care? Oh, wait a minute, your government cares, right? Oh, wait a minute, no, your mother-in-law cares. But your mother-in-law, she cares, but she doesn't know how to care for herself. How she care for you? your mother, your brother, your sister, your uncle, all of them. Tell me that we're not all on the pain train, okay? Do you feel like when there's chaos in your life that you don't get sucked into it? Do you have pain in your body right now? Well, you shouldn't. Pain is a, is a, is a good reminder that you're off track. Yeah, and trust your intuition. If you really have a passion and you wanna do this, do it for yourself, you deserve it. Listen to that little inner voice. Don't let someone close to you get, let you get derailed and off track or hesitate and not go through. Make the call. Call uh, myself. Can you believe this guy? He just told you to become selfish. No, he didn't. He said become selfish enough to understand your needs and understand something else. Your family's called a frenemy. You think they're your friends, but they're your enemy until you are the master of your mind and until you can hold the loving line for yourself, until you have created the perfect day in a nutritional and emotional way, and until you've hold that line for at least nine months because your family is not against you, but their subconscious is, and nobody likes change, even if it could save their life, because your subconscious can only be as intelligent as your prominent beliefs. How's that working for you? Not very well for most. They're like a zombie. Yeah. You know, how did you get to work today? You don't even realize. You miss out on everything in your way. Did you have a joyful ride to work? Probably not. It was probably full of stress and anxiety. And then you just start, set your whole day up to be and just blow. You're only going to have the health and the happiness depending on the belief system you're running. And guess what? That belief system is still not yours unless you've done something like the Braveheart training, come to a whole life coach certification. And I tell people that, you know what, if you can't go in deep 
because that's where it is. Go on deep, go in deep and find out how beautiful you are. You're a shining star. You are. Let that inner child come out and play. Go play.